In this video, we're going to learn how to caramelize onions. To start by caramelizing onions, we're going to melt a little bit of uh, fat into our pan. Uh, I'm using clarified butter, um, but you could certainly use uh, oil or bacon fat or any type of fat that you want. Um, what's important when we think about caramelizing onions is that we're not trying to fry the onions. Fried onions um, are different uh, than caramelized onions. Um, <clears throat> the process for caramelizing onions is going to take a long time, and the big difference between fried onions and caramelized onions is the time it's going to take and the level of heat that we're going to use to accomplish this. So once my butter's melted, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my onions into my pan. I'm then going to add a sprinkle of salt to my onions. This salt is going to help us draw out some of the moisture from the onions and help the caramelization process uh, along. So I'm also going to match the quantity of onions uh, to the size pan that I'm using. So uh, for this video, we're only going to caramelize a small amount of onions. Um, but if I was going to do a larger amount, I wouldn't just cram them into this pan. I would use a larger pan um, so that we don't crowd them in, because otherwise it's going to take a very, very long time to caramelize those onions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to continue to cook these until uh, these onions have uh, just begun to sweat. Uh, and again, we're going to be cooking these over uh, a medium or medium low heat. Um, should take us uh, four or five minutes uh, to get these to sweat, so we'll check back in then. So it's been about five uh, minutes of our onions sweating. Uh, and you can see now we have really nicely sweated onions. Um, so when you look at these onions, you can see first, they're a lot less voluminous than they were before. They've really started to cook down. Um, next, you can see that we haven't added any color to the onions, so these onions are not caramelized at all, but they've changed appearance a little bit, right? They're uh, very translucent uh, and, and much more limp than they were before. So these onions have now uh, sweat, um, and now we need to move on to caramelizing. So we're going to keep uh, the temperature at that medium level uh, and continue to allow these to caramelize, uh, stirring occasionally. So it's been another five minutes or so, um, and you can see that the onions have started to change color a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit of brown color on them. What we're also starting to see is we're starting to get a little bit of color onto the bottom of our pan. So some of those juices that we've cooked out of the onions uh, are starting to stick to the bottom of the pan. And we don't want these to burn as these onions continue to caramelize. So as uh, we start to get this color on the bottom of the pan, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of water and splash it into my pan and then use my spatula to scrape it up and incorporate it back into the onions. And you can see immediately after I did that, all that color worked its way back into those onions. Okay. And it got all of that, uh, those, that, that fond, all of those, that burnt component off of the bottom of the pan. So we're going to continue to caramelize these onions, um, stirring occasionally and just checking the bottom of the pan. Um, as those, uh, that fond begins to build up, we'll add just a little bit of water, scrape and incorporate back into the onions, and continue on until we get our uh, appropriate caramelized onion color. All right. so. It's been probably another 20 minutes, uh, and you can see that our uh, onions are now nicely caramelized. Um, so as you can see here, I've got this really nice, rich, dark color. They're really consistently uh, shaded all the way through. Uh, I'm just going to finish with one last little addition of water. And just scrape up any of that burn on fond on the bottom of my pan incorporate all that good flavor that we worked so hard to get. You see I have a nice clean bottom of my pan and these really nice dark caramelized onions.
Let's review. First, when caramelizing onions, we don't want to rush the process. Understand that it's going to take 40, maybe 45 minutes to get that caramelized color that we want. Next, even though the process takes a long time, turning up the heat isn't going to be the solution to your problem. When we turn up the heat, we're going to end up with fried onions instead of the nice, consistent caramelized onions that we're shooting for. Finally, match the size of the pan to the quantity of onions that we're using. We don't want the onions mounded in the pan as it will take so long to caramelize. More onions? Use a pan with greater surface area.